Hey guys, this is Mark Lader with Speedless Soccer Services. This is part two of my individual training session. If you haven't seen part one, please make sure you check that video out first because this video is going to build on that one. Remember, you guys need to try to complete each activity for at least a minute before you move on to the next one. The goal is to keep your heart rate up for the entire session. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure you check out the PDF. I linked it down in the description below. Complete the regular Cruyff move, only this time, after the Cruyff, make sure to touch the ball with the outside of your opposite foot as you turn. This is going to help you get away from opposing players much quicker. Do a regular step over and then turn quickly using the inside of your opposite foot. This is a good turn to help keep your body between the ball and the opposing player. Alright guys, for this move, do the regular step over, only this time use the outside of your foot that stepped over the ball to turn. This is a good way to change direction in order to quickly escape from pressure. Fake like you're going to kick the ball and put your foot on top of it instead. Pull the ball backwards, but make sure to turn the same direction you're pulling the ball. So if your right foot rolls the ball backwards, then make sure you turn to the right. The only difference between this and the regular pullback is that you're going to quickly touch the ball with the outside of whatever foot pulls the ball back as you turn. regular scissor, but instead of continuing to move forward, make sure you quickly move your feet so you can turn using the inside of the foot that just completed the scissor. If you do the scissor left footed, then turn to your right and use the inside of your left foot to push the ball. Start this turn with the regular scissor, only this time move your feet so that when you turn, you use the outside of your opposite foot to push the ball into space. So, if your right foot completes the scissor, then you turn your body to the left and use the outside of your left foot to push the ball. For my fitness during this session, I started off with 10 squats followed by a sprint of about 30 yards. Next, I completed 20 push-ups followed by a sprint. I also completed 10 sprints on their own. Altogether, that adds up to 100 squats, 200 push-ups, and 30 sprints. I finished with the basic cooldown. The cooldown is very easy to skip, but it's really important because you need to make sure you're preparing your body for the next day and trying to prevent injuries.
Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what types of videos you guys want to see in the future.